Hello Internet world. Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Insta360 Ace Pro. This is a new action camera that offers up to 8K video footage. I can't wait to unbox it with you so you get to see what's inside the box. Just to let you know, I purchased mine from Clifton Cameras. I use them for all of my photography and video requirements. They offer a superb service, both on the customer service front and also getting the product to you nice and quickly and in tip top condition. If you wanna purchase something from Clifton Cameras, check out the link down in the video description. So without further ado, let's go on with the unboxing. This is what the box looks like. We've got a picture of the product front and center. It says it's co-engineered with Leica, which is really good to see. On the side here, we've got some of the main features, including a one over one three inch sensor. We've also got a pure video option as well. 4K 120 frames per second slow motion, flow state stabilization and horizon lock and also free frame videos you can record in different formats and then change the format accordingly. So you could change it to one to one ratio, normal portrait or landscape. So it records using the whole sensor and then you can change it to whatever format ratio you want after the event. On this side here, we've got some more of the features. We've got an AI highlights assistance. We've also got a 2.4 inch flip screen waterproof to 10 meters or 33 feet, a magnetic mounting system, and also gesture and voice control. So let's get this unboxed and take a closer look. So this is brand new sealed. So when you buy yours, it should come with this plastic shrink wrap on it. Wow, and there we go. This is the camera front and center, fresh from the courier delivery. It looks really impressive. It looks actually a little bit larger than a standard action camera and a little bit more rugged as well. On the left-hand panel here, we've got some details about how to uh, get started with the camera, how to charge it, also how to use the mount that's included. Let's have a look at the camera itself. All stick it up with some protection all the way around and that really nice large flip screen on the back it's got a metal casing to it as well so very very impressed we'll take a closer look at this in a short while we also get this accessory box so let's take a look at what we get inside there I don't think there's anything else in here this is stuck down so there's nothing else underneath that piece in the packaging let's take a look at the accessories that are included so we've got some silica gel, which we should dispose of safely. We've also got some paperwork. So we've got a quick start guide, some waterproofing information, and also some safety guidelines. So a little bit more paperwork down in the bottom here as well. What have we got here? We've got some Insta360 stickers inside the box and also some warranty information. This is one of the magnetic mounts. This mounts to the base of the camera. And then we've got the standard sort of prong sticking out so we can mount this to another accessory. And then we've got these little push pieces just here, which we push in to release this particular mount from the bottom of the camera. Really nicely designed. I do like this a lot. We also have a USB-C to USB-C power cable. And then we have another mount just here. This looks like a sticky mount. So you could use that to put the action camera on your dashboard, for example. And yeah, it's a nice looking mount. And this is where you would in turn mount this magnetic mount in here as well. Very, very cool. So a couple of mounting options included inside the box. Now let's take a closer look at the camera. So we've got some stickers on here, just with some warnings. It says, when mount is not attached, avoid touching the heat dissipation area after prolonged use. So it might possibly get a little bit hot. So we can remove this before use. And this is the area where that magnetic mount will go on. Let's see if we can actually do this. 
So it only goes on one way. Let's turn it around the other way. So it pulls into position and it's locked onto the base of the camera. That's really firm. I like that. And then we can push the prongs in to release it. Yeah, very cool. I like the way that actually works with the base of the camera there. So we've got a little tiny screen on the front here. We've got some protection on the lens, which we can of course remove. So very, very good optics on the front here. On the side here, we've got a power button. This here, let's just open this up. Ah, so this is where we have got the micro SD card slot and also the USB-C charging point. Across the top, we've got a nice big record button. Along this edge, we push this down. Oh, there we go. This reveals the battery compartment and the battery is installed inside the camera for shipping. So we get one battery included and then this just clips back down into place. Very, very nice action on that. And then we've got the flip out screen. So we can put this at all different angles. So we can have it sort of halfway up or if we were gonna be doing vlogging and recording ourselves, we can have it front facing. We can put it to all different angles. Very, very nice hinge mechanism on this. Very, very cool. Really nice. Now you'll notice there's no mic port so if you do want to use an external microphone, you have to purchase an optional adapter, which goes into the USB-C port on the side. But overall, it feels like a very, very rugged camera. And as I mentioned earlier, this will record up to 8K video footage. And it will also allow you to record in what's called, I think they call it the free state format. So you record and then afterwards when you're editing, you decide whether you want it in a square format, like a one to one ratio a 9 to 16 ratio portrait or 16 to 9 landscape that's very very cool and really useful if you produce content for a lot of different platforms so that is it for my unboxing and first look of the insta 360 ace pro i think this is a great offering for a dash cam it performs really well in low light plenty of options for different recording formats and a really rugged looking camera with that flexible tilty up flippy screen very very good feature on this i can highly recommend you check this out if you're in the market for a new action camera if you want to pick up one for yourself please do check out the links down in the video description don't forget to hit like on this video and also please do subscribe to the channel because i'm going to be publishing a future video where you see the insta 360 ace pro in action again thank you for watching I'll see you in another video very, very soon.